In this video, we're going to go over how to do a car payment calculator. If you give me the cost of the car, the down payment, the annual rate, and the number of years, that is all the information that I need to calculate the monthly payment on a car and also the total interest paid on the loan. Now, it's not 100% necessary, but if we calculate the amount financed first, it's going to make everything easier. And what we're going to do is the only number we're going to use in our formulas is 12, which is for the number of months in a year to make our car payment calculator work for any car, any rate, and any number of years. So first I'm going to click in cell B8. I'm going to enter the formula equals B3. Notice how I'm clicking on B3. Then I'm going to type a minus sign and I'm going to click on B4. So to calculate the amount financed, I'm going to take the cost of the car and subtract the down payment. So I'm going to be borrowing $21,000 at 6.7% over five years. Now I'm going to click in cell B10 because if I'm in B9, the monthly payment answer will show up in cell B9. So I'm going to click in cell B10 and I'm going to click the formulas tab, then financial. And then I'm going to scroll down until I see PMT. PPMT is different. Make sure PMT calculates the payment on a loan. So when my box comes up, instead of typing in 6.7%, if I click on cell B5, it'll work with whatever rate is in that cell. But remember, I'm going to have to forward slash 12 to calculate that monthly rate. Now, N per, I'm going to click in that box, is the total number of payments. If you make 12 payments a year for five years, you're going to make 60 payments. So in N per, I'm going to click on the number of years. Notice how it puts five. And then I'm go going to type an asterisk and then 12. So again, as I told you, the only number that you're going to see in this box is going to be 12 for the number of months in a year. Now in PV, I'm going to click in the PV box. I'm going to type a negative sign, otherwise the answer is negative because you pay that amount. And I'm going to click on the amount financed, B8. That's why calculating that number made it a little bit easier for us first. And all I have to do is click OK. And we find that we are paying monthly $412.86 per month. Now, to calculate the total interest paid, I'm going to click in cell B11. The total interest paid is going to be what you pay back minus what you borrowed. So what we're paying back is $412.86 a month multiplied by 12 payments a year multiplied by five years. So notice I'm not typing the monthly payment. I'm not typing the number of years. I'm putting in the cell references, that way it'll work for any loan. So that is going to be the total of what I'm paying back. And then I just subtract B8, the amount financed. And when I hit enter, we will find that we are paying in total over the five years, $3,771.55 in interest. From this point, you can change any number. So notice I changed the cost of the car to $35,000. I changed the down payment to $8,000. Notice I changed the years to six, and everything updates automatically. I hope you enjoyed our car payment calculator.